dog. Huh? Here we have Toots. His birth name is Trout, but everyone calls him Toots. He's probably the best dog I've ever met in my life. Right now, he apparently is sniffing bush. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come on, Toots. That's my son. He's so tall, I can't get him in the whole frame. There he is. Everybody to see your face. Oh, very interested in everything that goes on around him. Toots. Toots. Look at Grandma. Yes, I am Grandma to a dog. There he is. Hey. Hi. Hi. There's his, uh, what would, Auntie. That's Auntie Riley. All right, we shall continue. We're at the Mississippi River Park, if you're wondering. You should come here because it's wonderful. It's on the service road off of 94 between 49th and 53rd Avenues. And I'll show you the park when we come back. This is the Mississippi River. Thus, the Mississippi River Park. Get it? <laughs> Sorry, I know, your mother's odd. My children all know this. They seem to accept it now. Ah, oh, we got a little beach. All right, I'll catch up. So this little area here, I don't remember ever seeing this before. Now this is how weird I am. I get convinced that there's magical little doorways. I just had a feeling when I saw this that it's one of them. Kind of neat. The fairies come out here at night. Look how beautiful. We're finished here. John. What? Which Pokemon did you just catch? Ekans. Ekans? Yep. It's okay. It's spelled backwards. Oh, okay. So you were here to witness this. My boy caught a Pokemon. <laughs> I don't understand this game. I really don't. But he's happy. <laughs> So this is the actual park. It's a really cool park. They got a lot of stuff. As you can see, they've got a picnic area. They've got a couple picnic areas. I'll show you that pool when we get closer. I'm very disappointed because I'm wondering if it's not open this summer. It's a really neat pool. Here's this part of the park. It's for the littler people. It's pre-park park. It doesn't say why the pool is closed, but it does say it's closed. This thing was so cool. Like you can see, it doesn't get very deep. There's a big fountain that came from that rock. You could run under the water and stuff, and then you wade around. It was really fun for little ones. But I mean, I hope it's not abandoned. I hope they're still going to let kids do this. It was fun. They have a really awesome self-sustaining pool over in the Weber Park area. I'll have to go over there. I've never checked it out. Here's this picnic area you can rent, have a family reunion or some kind of party, grad, grad party maybe. Kind of cool. Riley and I saw a wedding here one day. Beautiful. But yeah, Mississippi River Park. I don't even know what this park is called, but it's in Brooklyn Center. See that building over there? That is the stuff my childhood was made of. It's the Brooklyn Center Community Center. They have an Olympic-sized pool. And we were there constantly in the summers, and then they redid all this, and I could tell you stories about all this when it was getting made. Me and Lisa got into a lot of trouble over here. But it's a Pokemon hotspot, apparently. <laughs> so here we are. They've got, it's gorgeous. They've got paths and they've got this little fountain area and you can sit and just relax or go on a walk. You can take the toots with you. This baseball field has very happy memories for me. One Mother's Day, I came here with my best friend's family. We had a blast playing softball. Mom, 
<laughs> Riley has to use a porta potty. It's nice that they have them. My son was just pointing out too. Look at this. They have. Hi, buddy. Hi, my love. They have a ton of like recycling receptacles. Hey. Hi, toots. Hi, toots. You the best doggy ever. Oh my God, mom. What, honey? No oh no, we have no toilet paper. Let me. I. I need to go look in one of the other ones. I will. This is a sad turn of events. This looks like shit. The rest of the park is beautiful. We used to go behind there and drop our clothes off, and go streak over that walk over bridge which goes over the highway. It was really fun. <laughs> you can practice archery here. Nice bumpy uh, view because I'm walking while I'm doing this. Following the Tootsmeister. I just noticed something really pretty. See if I can... Look at those white flowers growing off the trees. That's so beautiful. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see if this is focused. Eh, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty. So many memories at this park. It's not focusing. Kirsten and I were coming in that entrance years ago on our bikes, and this guy rode by us on his bike and asked if we had a lighter for a cigarette, and we said yes. And when Kirsten handed it to him, he had his, you know, his wanker out. So we called him a perv and ran. And we're coming up on a hill where me and my sister used to streak. We did somersaults down the hill, not realizing <laughs> that our backs would get all itchy and our butts from the grass. And on that particular night, we always, I never realized, we had a lot of those experiences here. We got chased out of the park and had to hide behind trees and bushes all the way home. And then that walkover bridge I showed you, one guy saw us streaking up there, me and my friend Wendy, and he was waiting for us when we got down. We were able to grab our clothes and run and hide under a pine cone tree somewhere. That did not feel good. There's the hill. It was also that spot approximately that Lisa and I baptized the plants for the first time. Long story, hey, you shall hear it later. Bridge we're approaching. My sister and I used to come over here and play Caressi and Tithia, kind of like uh, the bridge to Terabithia, only our secret land was Caressi and Tithia. We're on the other side of this bridge and we did a spell to cast all evil out of the creek. And I shit you not, when we walked over and got to this side, <laughs> there were wet, sloppy, weird footprint things right about there and it reminded me of that story the boogeyman by Stephen King I don't know why and then we were talking about how there would be a gatekeeper at the end of the path and there was this dog there just random dog barking at us it was all very strange but yeah we had fun this was none of this was here except for the crick and this bridge was the only one at that time. This was all torn up. It was mountains everywhere. It was the stuff of dreams for a kid. Great mountains of dirt. And when it would rain, it would form natural pools and we would swim in them. We did a lot more in them, let me tell you. <laughs> I will tell you those stories when we get to that part of my story blogs. Story times. Story times, exactly. Denise's life in vlog. All right. Well, I think I'm going to sign off. So you've seen two of the Minnesota parks that we love. Say bye, Johnny. Bye. Say bye, Riley. Bye. Say bye, Denise. Bye. Say bye, Trout. So this is new, too. I just wanted to point this out. Me and Lisa would have had a field day if this would have been here when we were kids. They show movies, outdoor movies. And I would imagine they have concerts and stuff like that. This is all new. It's so beautiful over here, except for that tennis court. 
That was kind of shitty. But isn't it lovely? Another portal, my friends. Say bye, Trout. <laughs> he don't get no shit.